Well now, as I cross the fir third field, um, where all the protesters and people who've been in the camp, the ones who presumably were evicted, out and there's an exchange going on between the police and people who are all in this area that we're coming to now, but I'm, it seems like the situation may have changed by mid-afternoon and I'm just walking towards it on my own. So, could that be like walking towards an ISIS-held territory in Syria and you're just walking to something? Because if they're not all there, I will try and show what's going on from here. I don't seem to be in company unless you can go another. They were all stood by this tree over here, um, particularly, so... So I want... Uh, so we want bamboos in our for protection. power packs and god knows what else. Everybody else here about three hours ago or so isn't there and I'm just walking across the field and the police also going to be there. I'm just a lone person now walking across the field. So will I get approached? Can you even get on the lane? Which all so we managed to get to a place where you can see what's going on. We're very close to it. I feel a bit like in a small way if you just walked into an ISIS held territory of Syria. There isn't much, not many comrades around. We just walk across the field and then I'll get down to that side at some point. And ISIS are just over there. And then I'll have to be a journalist held hostage. So there you go, that's the kind of situation. Um, it seems to be the only person here. I was just thinking that trying not to be able to deploy this because right across the field anyway. So, the latest is, um, I think there are people still inside. Have they then forgotten about this area before they cleared everyone else where they would have cleared me and I've just come back from suburbia with all the right equipment and things, including the ability to report live properly this time. The 50% batteries are so rubbish, actually, that's what I achieved. So, <laughs> it's in the pouring rain as well. Um, there do just seem to be police around right now and I'm not sure what this drilling is all about. I'm not sure they've started fracking this quickly. <laughs> right, so there we are. Um, I'm also not sure if we just get dispersed as soon as I went on the road somehow. Um, this is we're getting much contact. I imagine that would change as soon as we go on the road, if we did. Um, right now, if we do get contacted, we can, you know, they can be on this broadcast, which is interesting. And because it's going straight to the internet, it doesn't matter if, this, if I lose this equipment today, either. That much. So to work out what they're doing, that's the question. Who's inside now? I saw a lot, I saw protesters from the camp on, on the A41 and down the other roads and no one's standing where I am for some reason. I'm the only point of access if I don't get if I don't get contacted by these people, negative contact um, would be back the way we came, which is over three fields, back towards the Chester Zoo area right now. But well, there's somebody now in the camp, and you can see this hasn't got a zoom ability, this one, but the but I'm using another camera which I could if it 
gets through this all right. We can put it on whatever, YouTube, whatever it is. It'll be good to talk to him about where the other people have gone. Unless he's leaving. No, maybe it isn't. A, no, he's probably not a protester, no. Oh, well, I didn't even think it was. Well, they're still up there. They're still up there. Stick on this, maybe. Also, this just loves rain. It really does. So... Yeah, well, there's, uh, what, I'll tell you, instead of asking that, where, where's everybody else gone? That's what, there you go, negative contact. Not, nothing unexpected though, obviously. But where's everybody else gone? As there were so many, I'm now alone, just on the edge of IS held territory. And there's somebody from, from, the, from the extremist group coming now to say, who are you? Alright, so, okay, so I'm going to ask you, where's everybody else gone? Because I went off. Yeah, well, no ride on it, you know. Just like to get on your mate way off. Can I get on Dutton's Lane? Yeah. Get way back on the lane, sir. Oh, great. Well, well I could say great. Great. Hi. Because it was sort of, it's raining like mad. But it's funny that um, I didn't want to be on the field so much as Dutton's Lane. But I'm not based in Dutton's Lane at the moment, so it is far from where, yeah. where we want to be. And did you, um, how did you get about 10 or 20 people to leave where they, where they were before when I had to go back? Just put those there to do it. Do so. Right, we're right by the site now, in pouring rain. Just been kicked off the field. I was the only person on it. Everybody else seems to have left, and I've seen them going around. We're now in what I'm calling ISIS held territory, if you like, in the metaphor. Um, taking over Frack Free Dustin, whatever Frack Free County Camp. So, this is the scene outside right now. The tower's still up, there's people in there, there must be, I don't know how many people are in there, but there are people in there. You can see an absolute line of police vans going down there. Keep walking, sir. Keep walking, sir. There's people in there right now. Let's have a look in the back there. Keep walking. Hello. Question. Yes. Oh, no. yeah. So can we ask you what have you been doing today? Well, I've been walking across the field in the rain. Um, and you can imagine what I could do. To the anti well, to the anti frack, and I didn't think it was even an eviction today. So. <laughs> Keep walking. Oh. That's Channel Oh, and there's someone there. Don't look that way. Like so, what are you, what are you, um, do you think you'll actually manage to get everybody off? Which I think is going to be Keep walking. 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 These are the people now who are taking, I can't really show it very well, who are taking uh, control of that land there. Um, it's going on the internet, even if this phone was confiscated, it's uploading a 4G network. Um, so, absolutely pouring rain. It's great weather for, the, for doing this today, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I knew you wouldn't do it before Christmas there. For some reason, right, sir. There's an absolute line of police vans here. I mean, we're talking from different forces that I've seen. I've seen Cheshire, uh, Greater Manchester, I've seen Headley, which I know, I know enough Welsh to know that that's police for Welsh. Because... So there you go, Merseyside, probably Lancashire, I haven't seen that one. It's probably there. Police helicopter was flying ahead before where I was standing. It's where some people who must have been evicted from the camp before he even got there was standing with the compensation with the police and authorities, bailiffs, etc. just before. Now, and I went to the same place, no one was there at all. Keep walking. Now, I'm just thinking I might go with that person because I know him.
you yeah. is a dispersal order. Okay? Right. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to explain it now. Okay. I'm going to give you a map with it. Yeah, I what think we know where this is going. Do, <laughs> what this asks you to do is leave the area outlined in the map, and if you do come back inside the map within 48 there. hours, Mate, you may get arrested. Serving, but that's exactly right. Well, at least you've got a May there. What this, um, <laughs> what this does is it's trying to prevent antisocial behaviour and any crime and disorder within the area. That's the purpose of us giving it to you. Okay, right. So there's the map for you. Okay. I know the maps of the area definitely. Okay. <laughs> can I take your first. details from you? Yeah. Is that okay? Can I take uh, your name? Oh yeah, what do you think on that one? Do you understand the nature of what you've been given? Well, it means that yeah, you don't want, don't want in the area. Have you read it? Have you don't, I don't, yeah. Give them the last one a minute. Right. Okay, which shows the okay. area. Uh, I'm not really sure got anything for We're going to go are. dark for a minute. I don't think you have to accept this if you don't want to. You don't have to. Would, would you like to give me your details? What about that? What about that? <laughs> You're like a solicitor now. <laughs> well, I am a legal observer, so... Right, okay, yeah. So, okay. would well, you would, like to give me details? Or? Well, would, would I? Would I like to? Yeah. It actually is up to me. It is. Okay. Well. Mm, well, I wouldn't want to be on databases and things. Be that, okay. you know. Well, so, so. Well, we're not going to try and trick you, <laughs> you know. Can you tell me why this gentleman's been sort of picked out here? Well. Any particular reason? I mean, a lot of the, a lot of people have been oh, up and down the lane. And I don't mean to have to explain it. Sorry, going dark there. He's already explained to him why he's going to be given the dispersal notice. Okay. He is. He is a member of the press. And I'm just wondering why... Well, he, yes, well, it's unofficial type of press, admittedly. Lane, he is a press card here. What's that about? Well, how do you get that if you're not working for Sailor Liverpool Echo, but you just work for yourself? Did you give him a... And you can get that. You haven't got a press card? No, but thanks for telling us about that idea. <laughs> I mean, it is, um, it's not paid media, but if you can get a press card... Because that's what you do, then yeah, yeah or get one. Beer. Sorry, sir. Matt if you can get a press Matt card, because that's what you do. Yeah, yeah. I do do a lot of journalism, so it is. It is something I should ask. That's, that's something you need to look at, sir, so possibly. I couldn't right. possibly say. You had Radio Mercy side here before, of course. I was listening on the phone, in, but now to go back. Yeah. I don't know who's been here today. So that's why we're here. Talking to each other, the Welsh police don't seem to be the only thing that Cheshire police very clearly. What do you mean, sir? Cheshire police have been more relaxed about it than some of you people. Why well, well, what force are you yeah. from? You're Manchester. Yeah, uh, the uh, right, even that's kind of legally difficult, but um, right. I could give you. Well, I'll ask him, he's very, he's very knowledgeable not, not on this, and I'm just been not okay. as well. Well, it is your choice. Yeah, because obviously, you know, it's one of those things you've got to be sort of careful about, isn't it? It was their idea. I wouldn't really mind, but. Sorry? It was their idea, not yours. It's not your say. Yeah, and we're here. Right, it's coming through. Are you from Manchester? Oh, you're North Wales. Aren't you? Headley. 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 Yeah, what's your back? I even know how to pronounce it. Headley. 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 Yeah. Yeah. No, he's, this gentleman's just waiting for advice on him whether to sign it or not. So. so, I think you need to explain to him why he has been singled out. As, as, as the thing from all the but other press it, people who are here. There's a reason for that as well. Why I have to have a council. Um, some of the uh, mainstream media people for their press cards, have you? Why well, yes, yes, we have. Why are you making a? Have you? Well, I'm yeah. quite active in the in in my, in my reporting, and I cover all these sorts of things. So it's it's you know I'm quite. Let's have a look what we've got here. It's not a press card, but it's something. It might be in. No, it's in the other one. In, well, not in the other one, but it's. Right, I, I can vouch for him. You know, I mean, he is a, a regular reporter in the area for all yeah. sorts of things that go on. Yeah, I've done things from inside the camp, the look station, and all the rest of it. So yeah, lots really of interviews. Okay, and he was presented to me by people. He's not a member of the press. No, he's not a member of the press. He's not a member of the press. He's not a press. He hasn't got one. He's not a member of the press. He's not a member of the press. He's not a member of the press. All sorts of people have been here filming without press cards. And I don't think you've made an issue of it. Well, I'll just ask him. I'll just ask him. Do you think I should or not? Just ask the question. There may be a press card that's not a press card. So I'll find out from him because it's one of those things that he's very knowledgeable about this sort of thing. Yeah, that's fine. There's no obligation to sign this. You don't have to. Okay, well, I'll just ask him. There's no obligation to sign this. To. Oh right. I'm oh, asking why? do you want to? If you don't, I'll just put refusal. It's up to you. You don't oh, okay. need to. Okay, that could go against you, couldn't it? No. <laughs> so it's a, do you want to sign question, it or not? Well if you don't want to, would you um If you don't if you don't want to, I'll write refuse, I'll give you the map and the okay, piece of paper. Sure, yeah, okay, sure, yeah, okay. It's only because really it's you know, you don't want to be um sort of marked down as you know, someone who's on the okay, on the record so unnecessarily. Yes no? We have to be. Is, observe that. 
for 48 hours. Don't enter into that, that uh, zone that's marked off there. Even Chester Station, that's quite amusing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and as long as you do that, then there's, there's, there's no issues there, is there? See if that's gone okay. off already. Okay. Is, are you signing or no? Um, I'll say no for now, but I'm going to okay. ask him one more time when he comes down. All right, we'll just put my fuse and we'll hand you the... We've, we've given you your verbally. And that's only because um, it might be, you know, I might be doing something I shouldn't be doing by doing that. Not more than going on a field, no, no. let's face it. <laughs> it's, it's your right to give us your name and address right, and it's so your right to refuse. Yours. Okay, yeah. just make it okay, absolutely thanks. clear now, you do understand that. Yeah, okay, but if you yes. go anywhere within these boundaries in the next 48 hours, you may get arrested. So well, that could happen if I was taking someone back to Chester Station or something. Because well, you've, you've, include, you've included all that. It's just out of the exclusion zone, isn't it? Oh, is it? Yeah, Let's have a look. just out of the exclusion zone, if you have a look properly. Oh, it's so fiddly. Could you hold this up for us? We'll show yeah, on there. There you go. No, I'm not going to hold it for you, sir. Sorry, you, yeah. you can peruse it at your leisure. Oh, okay, later. yeah. You want to start making your way over there with the legal advisor? That'd be fantastic. Is he the? Oh yeah, he's the legal yeah, advisor. He's off now, yeah, oh well, I'll ask, well that's. Uh, if he didn't come back, I couldn't ask him again. So. <laughs> right. So we begin with dispersal order. Probably the most important thing I've ever been given. But I'm, you know, totally mentally prepared for it. And what's fascinating is, is that it doesn't just include the anti-fracking site and just these surrounding lanes, but a lot of Chester, so we could come back later and say, oh, I saw you earlier, and oh, my friend lives down in, in Hool. Oh, yeah, that's part of a dispersal order. I wonder what would stop them making it the size of the United Kingdom or something. You've got to go to France for a couple of days. So that'd be quite amusing, wouldn't it? Yeah. Put these liaisons on. <laughs> Right. Okay. Hello, love. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah. Well, right, what so happened was your... I didn't. I didn't sign it um, because I didn't. Uh, you don't. I was going to say that was the thing I meant to say. You don't sign it. Well, I kind of gathered you know that. So. Right. <laughs> so you, you didn't sign it. No, I didn't. No. no. Well, I just. I just don't quite know what they're going to do with that, as you say. No, they won't do anything. So long as you don't come back. If you come back into the area, they'll have you. I was interested in you could be a bad look. You've you seen the size of this map? No, but I can believe it. <laughs> right. Well, we were on bamboos. We'll get back on bamboos if the battery hasn't given up, so I was in a minute. Oh, right. Well, I had to leave earlier because it's stupid battery. I wasn't prepared for an eviction. I had about 30% battery and I didn't. Oh. I tried to. I was trying to live stream. I was with a group of people in the field, and I would have stayed there, but I had to leave because I had to go and get stuff. And, and then when I came back, now everyone's gone over there. I don't know. I don't. Just out of interest. Uh, this no, no, but I, I got to the field very close to the end. What you about dispersal hours? Yes, have a look at this. Uh, you don't have to take that off of me. I'm not obliged to you under well, He hasn't signed it anyway, so well, don't, don't, don't think it really matters. Don't give him your name or anything like that. Well, I didn't that, do though. that, but you, you're saying if I didn't take that off... Oh, fine, now they're saying you've got to go away. You know, um, you know I can't actually go around most of Chester for 24 hours on the east side. I'm barring you from Chester, mate. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Hang on, it's, 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 it's not... It's not... It's as big as that. Have a look at it. I thought it was only a mile, a mile radius, they told me. Let's have a look at this for the next bit for the video. It's quite amusing. This let's get a bit of this water off here. It is. It goes right into the middle of Chester. <laughs> oh, this is sick. That's ridiculous. Well, I suppose I'd be very, very unlucky if someone spotted us. But whenever I had to take someone to the station or do something interesting later, which I don't, no. by chance. But if I did, say a friend lived there, so pretty... oh, I can't come round tonight. <laughs> I've got a dispersal. I know. Right I know. Thing. Well, we, we've had a situation before where somebody was banned from the area he lived in. Hello. You know, he was living in a. Well, if you lived in Chester, you would be, wouldn't you? <laughs> Most of it. Right, so that's an interesting thing there. Well, let's get back on bamboos if we can. So, sorry about that breaking coverage. You may have heard some audio, but I was using a better camera. I guess I'll put it online later. Got sort of frog marched away from the site, which is very predictable. And then um, one of the cops gave me a dispersal order which we could have a look at, but it, it's, a, it's more or less like being given the innate Z of Chester. That's yours as well, isn't it? That's note inside. Yes. I'll treasure that and frame it. Right, so we're at the edge. This seems to be the zone. It says to get out by 48 hours, so what does that mean? That if we're around here, we're going to get arrested, I suppose. 
Sorry, people. I'll face away now. Yeah. Just point out that way a bit. Hi, how you doing? I'm just seeing it all. <laughs> just seeing it. Just, just, there, was a, well, there was one earlier, which is much smaller, but they've obviously. I thought it was a mile. Yeah, it was supposed to be a mile um, radius from the town. But they've extended it, it would seem. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Right. Um, all ah, right. You've, I've, I'm just back on. I got all your comments. I thought I was back on a bit earlier, so I'll have to regurgitate it all now. And this is the latest. We got that uh, dispersal order. Um, it's more like, and it's quite amusing for someone who's got a sense of humour like me. It's like it's just like an A to Z of most of the are on it. You can't even go to the station. So it's not just around the frat camp. And that's when I got pounced on just after getting in contact with that um, what I'm calling metaphorically ISIS. Um, out outside of um, the field, where loads of how long has it run for? Which the dispersal order? Uh, Forty-eight hours, I think. 48. I remember it saying. Does that mean I'm breaking it right now by standing here I think for ages? It's from now, yeah, I would imagine so. So if we don't get back to the car, well, I'll, I'll relax a little bit, I think, because you know, can't. Uh, so that's what we got, um, and I met someone else I know down there. Loads of protesters were standing on that field. Uh, I think we're off now, are we off? Right, so having filmed for 21 minutes live outside the eviction of the anti-frat camp, and we've now been given something to say uh, by the authorities to not be around most of Chester for 48 hours. And you can see now there is lots of uh, police uh, there in different parts, you couldn't, um, you couldn't really get in. We were frog marched away from Dublin today. But they first made contact when I got across the field to where some of the people who were evicted were standing to shout at the police and such. But, but I couldn't stay there and continue that coverage because I wasn't prepared. The phone battery went dead and the live streaming had to stop. I didn't have any power pack, I was, it was rubbish. So I had to go back and get all that, and it took me more than two hours. And then when I did get back, nobody was standing there after I made the trek across those muddy fields. Um, so I was completely vulnerable to the people who were there. But one person was there. All right, so now what we want to do is perhaps so then we go back to the car. See if John Doe's going down there now. Um, must look very common to them, people holding film cameras up now. Oh, that's their lens. Just been doing a driving lesson, isn't gonna. So what will? So you can't get in. There's no idea how long they'll keep this up for either, because people who are locked on are not going to be going easily. Could even end up using the SAS or something. Yeah, it's going to focus a lot of the time. So I'm just going to end it on this bit here, I think. I'm just going to, um, just as we come through here. And so that's what happened, basically. So it would have been interesting to see what it would be like inside the camp. There was no way to know there was going to be an ev eviction today. Uh, especially as they were posting about the one show. I don't think, I think if we tune in at 7, they're probably not going to be on it. So that was some sort of coded message. But Northwest Tonight have been here. Radio Merseyside have it as the top bulletin, and probably Radio City do as well. Um, so there you go. What's interesting about the dispersal order, and I could have asked if I'd have been sharp enough, was how long have I got to get out of, of the east side of Chester? Because I'm not supposed to be here for the next 48 hours, according to the authorities, for having the temerity to cross a field and come very close to where they're carrying out their eviction of Upton anti-frat camp. And so with that, there we go. Just have a final look at this, uh, at this, as we, as we come to the end of this coverage now. So there's, um, there's an ordnance survey map type thing, or street atlas of Chester, which I can't hold up very well. Um, not well, uh, focusing on it is going to be extremely difficult. But if you know Chester well, I could go and ask for another map. Oh, don't know where I'm going. Chester Station's excluded, actually, which is nice of them, but the roads around it. And the city centre's excluded, but it's all of these suburbs of Hool um, and Beish are included in it. And Chester Zoo, I can go there. 
So there you go.